complex. All right. Let's look at the first one. It says Z1 times the conjugate of Z2. Z1 is 3 plus 5i. So we'll write solution here is 3 plus 5i. Then for the conjugate now, Z2 is being given by 5 minus 4i. So the conjugate of Z2 is 5 plus 4i. We change the imaginary part. So it becomes plus 5 plus 4i. We go back to the concept that we used when we are adding and subtracting. We have to collect like terms and simplify. So for the real part, we have 3 plus 5. And for the imaginary, we have 5i plus 4i. And when we simplify what we get, we get 3 plus 5, we get 8. 5i plus 4i, we get plus 9i. We have simplified and we have lived uh, our answer in the form x plus yi, where x is being represented by 8 and y is represented by 9. Let's now look at the b part. Okay. Let's now look at the B part. Alright, the B part reads, I said, for, uh, we can denote or we can represent conjugates by a star or a z or a bar on top. So on this one, I have written a bar on top, it's still the same. Uh, it's z, our uh, one conjugate, multiplying by... Multiplying Z2. So for Z1 conjugate, we have to change the imaginary part first. The imaginary part consists of a plus sign. So when we change that, it becomes a negative. So for Z1 bar, it will be 3 minus 5i bracket multiplying Z2, which is 5 minus 4i. We do the expansion of brackets. So it will be 3 bracket of 5 minus 4i close bracket minus 5i open bracket 5 minus 4i close bracket. Then we multiply each term uh, by 3 in the first bracket. We get 3 times 5, that's 15. 3 times minus 4i, we get minus 7i. The other one, minus 25i. And lastly, plus 20i squared. And we have uh, been told that, it is believed that i squared is equal to minus 1. For, for the second, second step, it will be 5 minus 7i minus 25i minus 20 now. Uh, we have to group like terms. It will be 15 minus 20 minus 7i minus 25i. 15 minus 20 we get minus 5. Minus 7 minus 25 minus 32i. That's our answer there. Alright, when we simplify, uh, we have already told that it is believed that i squared is equal to minus 1. So when there is i squared, we put minus 1. And our next step will be 15 minus 20 from the minus that we have uh, multiplied here, minus 4i minus 25i. And our result will be minus 5 minus 37i. Okay, learners, let's take a short break. We'll be back and we'll continue with more examples. Welcome back, learners. Let's uh, continue with more examples. I have another example here with me. Uh, if Z1 is equal to 2 minus 4i and Z2 
two is equal to seven minus i. You are asked to express z one and z two conjugate in the form in the form x plus y i. The first thing when we want to tackle this question is to multiply first, ignoring the conjugate. We will use the conjugate later. So for our Z1, we have, uh, so we write here, solution. For our Z1, we have 2 minus 4i. We write 2 minus 4i, brackets, multiplying Z2, which is 7 minus i. We do the expansion of brackets here. We have 2 bracket of 7 minus i minus 4i bracket of 7 minus i. We multiply the first bracket by 2, which is 14 minus 2i. The second bracket with minus 4i, we get minus 28i plus 4i squared. Uh, it is believed that i squared is equal to minus 1. So when there is i squared, we will put minus 1. So for the next step, it will be 14 minus 2i minus 28i minus plus 4. And you put a negative 1 in place of i squared. It will be again 14 minus, we simplify this one, 14 minus this one, we get 30i minus 4. 14 minus 4 minus 30i. And if you simplify further, we we'll get 10 minus 30i. But our question, we were supposed to express as a conjugate. We now express this result as a conjugate. We change the imaginary part and it will become, all right, uh, when we have calculated this one, because our question is saying we should express it as a conjugate, we now change this imaginary uh, part here and it becomes 10 plus 30i. So uh, we should first calculate uh, the, uh, the, we should first calculate, then find the conjugate at the end. Alright, let's move on to division of complex numbers. How do we divide? When dividing complex numbers, you have to multiply the numerator and the de denominator by the conjugate of the denominator. This method is similar to that of rationalizing sets. Okay, I'll write another example for how we divide. All right? Z is equal to 5 plus 2i over 3 minus i in the form in the form a plus bi where a and b are elements of real numbers. Alright, we want to find, we want to express this one in the form a plus bi and we are doing division. If I have already stated earlier, I said when you are dividing, you should multiply both the numerator and the denominator by the conjugate of the denominator. Here is how we do it. So we write here solution. So it's 5 plus 2i over 3 minus i. The conjugate of 3 minus i is 3 plus i. So we multiply both the numerator and the denominator by 3 plus i. 3 plus i, 3 plus i. Okay, let's now multiply the denominator. We do the expansion of brackets. We have 5, 3 plus i, 
plus 2i, 3 plus i. That's for our denominator, for our numerator, sorry. Then for the denominator is 3 multiply 3 plus i minus i, 3 plus i. We now do the expansion. 5 times 3, that's 15. 5 times plus i plus 5i plus 2i times 3 plus 6i plus 2i times plus i plus 2i squared. All over for the denominator now, this is 9 plus 3i minus 3i minus i squared. And you all know that it is believed that i squared is equal to minus 1. So where there is a negative, so where there is i squared, we are going to replace it with minus 1. So for the first one, it will be 15 plus 5i plus 6i. If we multiply minus 1 times 2, we get minus 2. Over, we have 9 plus 3i minus 3i. Where there is i squared, we multiply with a negative 1, it becomes plus 1. So if we group now for the numerator, we we'll end up with 13 plus 11i over uh, plus 3i minus 3i gives us a 0. Okay, uh, we expand the brackets on the numerator and we, get, we will get 15 plus 5i plus 6i plus 2i squared. Then on the denominator we have 9 plus i squared minus 3i minus i squared. It is believed that i squared is equal to minus 1. So where there is an i squared, we are going to replace it with minus 1. So when you do that, uh, we have 15 plus 5i plus 6i minus 2 and on the denominator we have 9 plus 3i minus 3i plus 1. We simplify. We group like terms and simplify. So when we simplify on the numerator we have 13 plus 11i. On the denominator there is a plus 3i minus 3i. This gives us 0 and we have 9 plus 1 which is what? Which is 10. But our question is uh, demanding us to live in the form a plus bi. So we will say 13 over 10 plus 11i over 10. Okay, learners, let's take a short break. We'll be back with past exam papers. <laughs> Welcome back in us. Let's move on. We are now looking at how the exam uh, questions answer uh, questions on complex numbers. I have some questions here from past exam papers. So let's uh, uh, calculate uh, or answer those questions. I will write them down, then we'll write the solutions. The first one, it reads the complex number the complex number z is given by z is equal to 4 minus 3i over 1 minus 2i 1 express z in the form x plus y i where x and y are real numbers. The part B find the modulus find the modulus and argument an argument of z. 
All right, for this question, we are going to look at the first part only. For the second one, this is this is going to be attacked on the next lesson. All right, for this one, uh, we are asked to express Z in the form X plus YI, where X and Y are real numbers. So, here's the solution. Z is equal to 4 minus 3i over 1 minus 2i. The first step is to change uh, our denominator. We write the conjugate of this denominator. The conjugate of this denominator is found by changing the sign on the imaginary. We multiply both the numerator and the denominator by that conjugate. So our conjugate is 1 plus 2i. So we multiply both the numerator and the denominator by 1 plus 2i. Let's expand the numerator. We'll write 4, 1 plus 2i minus 3i, 1 plus 2i. For the denominator, we have 1, 1 plus 2i minus 2i, 1 plus 2i. Okay, so when we expand, we have 4 plus 8i minus 3i minus 6i squared at the numerator. Then at the denominator, we have 1 plus 2i minus 2i minus 4i squared. Okay, it is believed that i squared is equal to minus 1. So where there is i squared, we put minus 1 and it will become on the numerator. We have 4 plus 8i minus 3i plus why did we write a 6? There is a negative for i squared and this negative. When we have a negative multiplying a negative, we get a positive. All over, uh, we have 1 plus 2i minus 2i plus 4. On the numerator, when we arrange or when we collect like terms, we have real numbers as 4 plus 6, we get 10. Then for the imaginary, it's plus 8i minus 3i, we get plus 5i for our numerator. Then for the denominator, plus 2i minus 2i, we get a 0. And we are only left with the real number, which is 1 and plus 4, we get 5. But our question asked us to leave it in the form a plus bi. So we divide or we write in this form 10 over 5 plus 5i over 5. And we can further simplify this by dividing 5 into 10, we get 2 plus 5 into 5i, we get 1i. So we have answered the question and we have left it in the form they asked for. For the second part, it was, uh, we were uh, supposed to find the modulus and argument of Z, of which we are going to do that in our next lesson. But let me give you another example of, uh, or another example question. The complex number Z is given by Z is equal to 2i over 3 minus 4i express z in the form x plus yi where x and y are new numbers. This question is similar to the question that we did. We are going to follow the same procedures that we used on the first question. Okay, what uh, is the procedure? We are given that 2i for the solution now. 
we are given that 2i over 3 minus 4i. What do we do first? We have to find the conjugate of the denominator and the conjugate will be 3 plus 4i. Then we multiply the numerator and the denominator with that conjugate and it becomes 2i multiplied by 3 minus 4i. On the denominator it will be 3 minus 4i. Sorry, it's plus 3 plus 4i. The conjugate of 3 minus 4i is 3 plus 4i. So when you multiply on the numerator, it becomes 6i plus 8i squared. Over, when we, we expand the brackets, we have 3, 3 plus 4i minus 4i, 3 plus 4i. Alright, on the numerator, on the numerator is we have i squared. So when you multiply with a negative, it becomes 6i minus 8. Our final answer, when we have calculated all this, we will have minus 28 over 25 plus 6i over 25. I hope we have managed to follow on how to calculate numbers in conjugate numbers as well as doing division of numbers in complex numbers. Thank you.